Uh, hello again, everyone, and welcome to the latest player interview for Deerham Town this year. Um, today, we've got uh, Reese Logan and the manager, Toasty Park, with us. Um, normally, we do these with a couple of players um, who are new to the club, Reese, who uh, the, play, the, the fans don't know very well, and we do a bit more about them. So, this will be slightly different to that. Um, and then we'll just spend a little bit of time with uh, why bringing Reese back to the club was a, a good idea. But Can I have five minutes to think about that? Well, yeah, I'll talk to Reese for five minutes. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, thanks for giving up uh, your time to come and join us today, Reese. I know as we sit, the Norwich Ipswich game's on, and, and you're quite keen to get away and watch that. And if you hear any cries in the background, Andy Easto's watching it on Reese's phone. So, um, Reese, so um, you left the club uh, the season before last. Um, you'd obviously played a huge amount of games for the club before then. So, uh, a lot of the fans know a little bit about where you play, but. Since that time, since then and now, has any more been added to your game or, or how do you like to play the game? Um, I mean, not really, sort of same as what it used to be really, probably a bit more, probably count as an experienced player now these days, um, being 28, but now I still like to still like to play out wide and, and then get them a full back if I can and yeah. yeah. And you're still just as quick as well. We've noticed this as fans that you're still just as quick as maybe as lost, maybe before. lost a yard or two, but <laughs> I still I can still shift uh, shift with the best of them. So. Okay, uh, so last year you played at Lowestoft. How did you find your time there? Yeah, I did. I, I did enjoy at Lowestoft. Um, obviously, a few of the ex Durham lot from who were here, Hints and, and Hippo, were across there as well, which made it made it easier and a bit more comfortable. Um, to go, I, I I did enjoy my time there. Um, it was a good season, but just probably didn't play as much as I'd have liked to have done. So my next question was going to be, what were the, the main reasons for you wanting to come back to Durham Town? Uh, obviously, since you're away, we're now a Step 5 club, unfortunately, but uh, what was your main draw for wanting to come back here? I'm guessing, based on what you just said, it was the yeah. last time. Yeah, I mean, playing time is obviously a, a big one as well, but um, I thought I could have got that. A, a lot of numerous different clubs if I had I, when I decided that I was going to leave Lowestoft but I mean obviously the the sort of connection I've got with this club anyway was would played a part but mainly sort of speaking to Toe speaking to to Yen and Cookie and and even sort of when I came even before I properly signed speaking to um, even yourself Dale like some of the volunteers and stuff that have been here already and them saying how much the club had changed since I'd last been, um, since I'd last been here, was kind of what sealed it, really for me. Yes, and, and knowing the club and knowing and having those relationships with people around the club already, obviously was a factor in you wanting to come back here. You obviously think a lot of the club, don't you? Uh, yeah, club. yeah, of course. I, I mean, I was probably a little bit nervous when when I first came back. I wasn't quite sure. I think I even said this to Toast. So I was a bit nervous about even how some of the how some of the fan volunteers might sort of react to me coming back. To be honest, because of how I'd left and, and what had happened. But to be honest, since I've been back, it's been pretty seamless and everyone's been... Yeah, I think football like I never committees left. and fans and management, they just want to win football cl uh, football games, don't they, basically? And, and you obviously, since you've come back, our results have been really good and you've been a, a big part in, in winning games as you were before. So, yeah, I don't think you have anything to worry about there. That what happened last year was for a variety of different reasons. Yeah. Why I think people accept that, don't they, yeah. generally? So, Toasty, um, obviously, you talked a little bit about, you know, how Reese influences the game. Um, just tell us a little bit about what your thought process was about bringing him in back to the club. Uh, well, firstly, it's got nothing to do with him as a footballer because I think we have established that if you don't get the right people in the door, um, you don't do anything. So, first of all, it was the person. Mm -hmm. And I felt he had a little bit of unfinished business. And not in, and he didn't get stick for the way he left. I think he's been a bit hard on himself. I think everyone got why he left. Um, it was a, it was a sinking ship, yeah. which you would not be a part of because you'd drown. So I get it. Mm. And he's had a great experience at Lower Stuff, at a really good club with some good players and some good managers. And there's been an opportunity where he can come home, like you said. Hopefully, he feels it's a better environment, and he's back home. And he's a club legend, and he's something that you could build around first before you even look at him as a player. Um, secondly, the player. You never turn down Reese Logan because he's a, you know, a Norfolk sort of legend in terms of how he plays football, and any manager will be beneficial to have him. And we're lucky that I think it's a nice fit and end to. He probably would have never wanted to have left if the situation was good, 
I completely back why he left and it's great to have him back and I'm glad he feels like it's back to normal service resumed. Yeah, and very honest as well. And, and Toast is right. I think that everyone considers you a club legend. You don't accrue the amount of appearances and goals and assists or whatever that you have um, without gaining legendary status. I think it's fair enough. Um, quite a quiet guy off the pitch, I think it's fair to say. But on the pitch, um, how we you firstly, how, have you played with many of the current squad before? Um, probably not actually um, played with a lot of them sort of maybe like what I played with on a Sunday but never on a Saturday but one thing I would say it was they're always sort of players like Sweeney, Spoons especially like players who I played against on a Saturday when they were at previous clubs and I'd always sort of thought to myself oh, I'd, I'd love to play with them like one day and stuff and it kind of like totally assembled like a great squad here um, we've got some really good players and stuff so and there's been a great dressing room to go into and they've it's been been seamless so, where I've gone in and just sort of fit in, really. So yeah, so that leads me, you're leading me on to my questions quite nicely. So the the thread from the the common thread from all the other players we've spoken to is, and like Toasty says, he investing in people, bringing the right people into the club. That the, the common theme has been everyone's enjoying playing as part of this team and part of this setup and part of this the atmosphere that Toasty's created around the club. Is that is that was that a surprising thing? And obviously, it's a positive thing. Um, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it was surprising. Um, it, I mean, it was definitely enlightening a little bit, like turning up for the first time and like just sort of seeing how the dressing room was. And it's even like the little things, like when we do like the spins and you do the karaoke and stuff afterwards. And it's, it's all the little stuff that adds up. That yeah. it's just sort of it has fostered like a really good, a really good dressing room and a really good environment. And it makes you want to go out and. Play harder and yeah. and work for your teammates. So. It's always nicer when you play with your mates and people you get on with, rather than just turning up and just uh, playing regardless, yeah. you know, without those things. So you're right, and and, it, and it's testament to Toasty and the and the, the committee and the management and the culture that we've we've uh, built into this club. So since you've been here, then you talked about uh, on the pitch and you've, you've you've learned a few of the players from scratch, effectively. Um, is there any particular partnerships around uh, the the, the squad that you've you've built or that you're quite proud of. So we see you're playing in a similar role, don't we? Yeah. Up, up, up the same wing, and and we see you know the, the midfield too. Lakey and and Mac are quite settled in there. That that's how they spoke about it, and they're quite comfortable in there. Spooner in the middle, Charlie Clark and and, and whoever else, and and Sweeney, and Jordan. There's loads. You signed loads of good players. Uh, is 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 there any particular relationships that that you found um, that you forged quite quickly? I mean, obviously. Getting a relationship with with pitch playing right back was is one that's just yeah. natural for anyone who's playing on the right side, um, and then sort of for us sort of mainly like the front four that's whether it's spoons but Sweeney Clarkey whoever's playing mm -hmm. like definitely that's that's an important we don't want it it's more like not just sort of partnerships it's like it's working as a four or a five or mm -hmm. as a group and. Um, but yeah, I, I think we're starting to build it. It took took a few weeks, I think, to build that initially, yeah. um, and for me to even sort of get back playing and get my fitness back and stuff. But yeah, I think I think it's only only starting to look better. And it all comes as part of what you both have said about the atmosphere and everything around the team. Natu relationships on the pitch and off the pitch will naturally form when you you know when you're in a, a good place as well, won't they? Um, so football aside, obviously we see your mum and dad coming up to the, the games quite a lot. Are they, are they still enjoying coming here? Are they? Yeah, they they love coming back. They they were they were excited when I said I was uh, I was coming back here. I think they've missed coming up here and and watching me play. So yeah, but they're your two biggest supporters, aren't they? They they followed us around uh, the Eastman League when we were in that, and they they followed us around this league as well. So um, and they're always positive, and they've always got your back, haven't they? So, yeah. so yeah, so it's nice to have supporters like that. Um, okay, that will. So that's the end of the football part of the interview, which I'm sure you're glad to hear. Normally, Toasty pre-prepares me with a question for the players, the Galapias. Um, but since he's here, uh, have you got anything you'd like to ask, Reese? Um, no, no, no. He's one of the. He's not on the hit list, to be honest with you. <laughs> okay. He's safe. I think we've we've we've, uh, we've already covered the tail between his legs. Back, <laughs> yeah, I'll bring that one up again. But no, good lad. Good. Well, I'm, I'm glad you're here. Um, what we do 
uh, in conclusion, Thies, uh, is we do a, a bit of a football quiz. You're not the first player who's openly admitted before we started that you haven't seen many of these uh, before. Can I also file on record that I'm yeah. really, I, I vowed to do none of these this year. Yeah. And the, the person who called this off, he knows who he is. <laughs> that's a spin. <laughs> well, because I shouldn't be sitting here. Well, and, and anyone who's watching this later will see Christmas that Christmas special. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, fair enough. And we're, uh, uh, let me just say, as fans, we're, we're really enjoying the, 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 you know, the spinning wheel and the karaoke. Are you going to sing a song, by the way? No. Okay. No, he's, I, think, <laughs> I think he's a hundred pound deep, man. Yeah. 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 All right. But hopefully, you could enjoy everyone else singing along anyway. Yeah, can't you? Precisely. All right. So, as you haven't seen them, uh, the way the quiz works is uh, you pick an, uh, an envelope at random, and in there is a question I'll ask you, and they've got multiple answers. And you've got to try and get as many correct answers to that question in 30 seconds of our time. I think okay. um, uh, when Andy was in here before, he, was, he, you know, he said that he didn't like how hard his was compared to how easy someone like Pitchers was. But I think the top score to Jordy is about 14, I think, isn't it? Or 15. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't think Jordy cares, by the way. <laughs> Hello, mate. Welcome back. <laughs> So that's the that's sort of score you've got to beat. Uh, do you want to have a go as well, Toasty? Why not? I mean, Why not? no doubt I'll pick Korean top flight teams or something, won't I? Well, fingers crossed. <laughs> right. yeah. So pick yourself an envelope, just hold it and not open it. And for yourself, Toast. My favourite colour. Well, I know what's in that blue one. That's good oh, news, no. isn't it? So just hold that, hold on to that oh, for a no. sec. Reese, you can go first. Better not be about theorem, because I don't know anything. <laughs> Well, this should be uh, a subject quite close to your heart based on the football you've been watching earlier. So, um, you've got 30 seconds to name as many current championship teams as you can. So that's quite an easy one, isn't it? God, <laughs> I don't... Do you know what? Do you know what? Your mind still goes blank, though. What is in here? Your mind still goes blank. Well, well I can't tell oh, you until... Okay. All right, all right. You okay. can sit with it burning a hole in yeah, your Yeah, that's brilliant. <laughs> Just a joke, isn't it? How have you got that? I'm still a bit nervous. What seems to happen is I give you a score at the end of it, and then Geordie watches it back, counts it up, and I'm probably completely wrong. So we'll just uh, we'll uh, we'll have a go. But are you ready? Yeah. Three slogan, thirty seconds. Name as many teams in the current championship as possible. Three, two, one, go. Uh, Bristol City. Yeah. Cardiff. Yeah. Uh, Swansea, Ipswich, Norwich, Chef Wednesday. Mm. See this way. Leeds. Yep. Leicester. Seven, eight. Um, oh Barnsley? No. Nope. Uh, Middlesbrough? Yeah. We were talking about one before we started. 2-1, uh, that's it. So you've got nine. That's it, that's, I think that's sort of top no, three, top bad. four sort of. Something to read them all out for you? No, nah, don't annoy me. No, we've got a spin if not. That'll annoy me. <laughs> We were talking about the Sunderland game before we, um, Jeez, before we just before we started rolling. Yeah, again. Uh, but never mind, never mind. What is, what is Come on then. Well, we'll see. I'm only winding you up. This, this, this is the oldest envelope in there. It's been right. sat here for so long, but it's actually what I, I thought this was one of the easier ones. Okay. So, Toasty Park, Deer and Town first team manager. You have got 30 seconds to name as many teams as you can in the FIFA top 20 rankings of men's football. Oh, what well football? Yeah, easy international top 20 ranked teams. All right, go on. All right, so you ready? You ready to just crack on with this, aren't you? Yeah. Well, I bet you a pint, there's one here you definitely won't get, and I'll be honest with you, but never mind. All right, Costa Rica. Three, two, one, go. Switzerland, Hungary. No. England. Yes. Germany, Italy. Spain, Brazil, Argentina, Colombia, Paraguay, no. Ecuador. No. I'm just random. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um, USA. Ten USA. Yes, um, Three uh, to get. Uh, Mexico. Yes. Um, no. Uh, Portugal. Count that. Got to count that. That's on the buzzer. Yeah, okay, why not? 13, right. second place in the league, really good. Do you want to read them all out? No, you thanks. Know? You sure? Yeah. Okay, you didn't get the one I was thinking of. I, I knew you wouldn't get Morocco. There's no way you uh, can get or Japan or Senegal. Uh, don't care. Yeah, but... Never mind. Right, gents, it's been a pleasure. I know the time's beating us a little bit today, which is why we've had to be a little bit quicker. 
But Reese, thanks very much for joining yes, us again thank today. You. So thanks very much as always. Merry Christmas, Cheers, everyone. And Keith, yeah. rhinestone cowboy for the eighth week in a row. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers.